So Ovo have now come to the market with a heat pump specific tariff, but it only applies at the moment if you've got a valent heat pump. It's called Heat Pump Plus, and there's quite a lot of talk and chatter in the Facebook groups about whether this is actually a good idea. So I just want to run through a couple of things and criteria that you'll need, but most importantly, whether this is actually going to work out cost effective for you to change if you're on another uh, favorable tariff with maybe another supplier so um, first of all you need to have a you need to be an OVO customer you can of course change to OVO you need to have a smart meter and you need to have your uh, valent heat pump needs to be connected to the internet so if you've got the my valent app and you're you know remotely connected then that's absolutely fine and of course you need a smart meter for it to work as well so that's your eligibility you can go and have a look on the website and see all these blah 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 t's and c's and the bold claim that you could make 495 pounds saving but straight away we know that that is based on a coefficient of performance of 2.8 and annual consumption of 360 so it's good to see the small print well, it's not even that small on their website. So kudos to Ovo for just putting it straight up front so we can see that. And importantly, it's an experimental product. It's a new product currently limiting it to first 100 customers who sign up. So they can review it and then they can make improvements. All right, let me get into the numbers. I'm going to show you my real world data. This is a sample from my heat pump and my home from the 1st of December to the end of January, okay? First column, column D, that's the consumption from the heat pump. The tariff that I'm on is a variable tariff. It's the Octopus Tracker tariff. I highly recommend it. I'll put some links in the description if you wanna sign up. Um, the cost, so this is this is the pence rate, so this is 25.34 pence, this is kilowatt hours, and then the cost is kilowatt hours times by the thing, you can see there, divided by 100 to get the uh, decimal, decimal point in the right place. The comparable OVO cost, because on their heat pump plus, would be 15p per kilowatt hour used by the heat pump, so 37 times 15 and we get our £5.55. Now this is the total household consumption from my smart meter data that I just downloaded from Octopus Energy and imported that so you can see exactly how much I'm using. And then I've taken away the heat pump consumption from the total smart meter consumption and you can see my household consumption for everything else in the house. Um, and then mm, the OVO cost for the rest of the household consumption is at their standard tariff rate, which currently is 28.61 pence per kilowatt hour. So you can see the total there. And then tracker, it's the same rate whether I'm using it for a heat pump or whether I'm using it for the other household consumption. So you can see on my other household consumption here, tracker starting to beat it quite considerably when we're looking at uh, tracker prices uh, in 20p per kilowatt hour or down here 13p, 8p per kilowatt hour and so there's quite a big gap opening up so on that day in particular my household consumption was 11 kilowatt hours, a bit more than typical it only cost us 95p because the rate was so low on tracker that day and with ovo that would have cost three pound 24 anyway this is just uh, the total of g and j so that's the heat pump cost and the rest of the house cost and i've done the same for tracker heat pump cost rest of the house and a total there so after two months what do the figures look like where are we getting to so the total cost with OVO if I was on Heat Pump Plus would have been £289.24. The total that I actually paid on Tracker £247.65. So you can see that if it was just if it was just the heat pump, it would be cheaper to be on OVO, but because of the household cost being so much more, even though we're only talking 500 kilowatt hours and then 948 kilowatt hours, so it's not massive consumption here at my home. I think we're relatively low. Um, anyway, Octopus Tracker wins. It beats OVO on their Heat Pump Plus for Valent heat pumps. Now, what about export? This is another issue. So if you were to run this tracker 
if you were to run this heat pump plus tariff just through the winter, then export probably won't be so much of an issue, especially if you've got battery, you probably wouldn't be exporting anything anyway. So it doesn't really matter if you're on Ovo, who are currently at 4p per kilowatt hour, which I've taken from their uh, website here. Ovo have got some great uh, articles and guides and blogs and stuff i gotta give it to ovo there's a lot of information that you can find on their website compared to some other energy providers anyway um if i were to theoretically export 2000 kilowatt hours over the course of a year that would be 80 pounds with ovo and with octopus it would be 300 pounds so you can see that the gap starts opening up and of course this is just over the course of two months and through once you get into the shoulder months where you're not using the heat pump so much, I mean, some of this time was quite mild anyway, and especially as you go into summer, then it's not going to be beneficial to be on this OVO heat pump plus tariff whatsoever. Um, I can't see any reason why anyone would through the rest of the year. There's much better tariffs out there. But are you prepared to switch over to OVO um, just for... A couple of months a year the cold months of the year december january february typically and then maybe surf out the rest of the year on something like octopus tracker octopus agile something like that you could play the markets and uh, gain something but i hope this uh, kind of puts some figures to the theory in the group i shared my comments straight away my gut reaction was that uh Ovo wasn't going to work out cheaper compared to Octopus Tracker. But compared to the standard uh, variable rate, the, the price cap rate, then yes, Ovo will work out cheaper, uh, considerably cheaper over these couple of months. So again, it depends what your baseline is. If you're already on a great tariff like Octopus Tracker, Octopus Agile, you haven't got anything to save by moving to Ovo by on Heat Pump Plus. However, if you are um, on the price cap, then sure, look at Ovo, but you're probably better at just jumping over to Octopus and jumping on their tracker or their Agile tariff. If you're not already with Octopus Energy, I'll put a link in the description. You get 50 quid credit. I get 50 quid as well. Hope this video helps and I'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah, 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 yeah